Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about document and window objects in JavaScript, part of Web Technologies course. The document and windows object in JavaScript are built-in objects that provide a way to interact with the web page and the browser window. They are the root objects of the document object model and the browser object model respectively. Here are some examples of the properties and methods provided by the document object. Document.title gets or sets the title of the web page. Document.body gets the body element of the web page. Document.head gets the head element of the web page. Document.forms gets a collection of all form elements in the web page. Document.images gets a collection of all image elements in the web page. Document.links gets a collection of all anchor elements in the web page. Document.getElementById gets an element by its ID. Document.getElementsByTagName gets a collection of elements by their tag name. Document.createElement creates a new element with a specified tag name. Document.createTextNode creates a new text node with a specified text. Document.appendChild adds a new child node to an element. Here are some examples of the properties and methods provided by window object. Window.innerWidth gets the width of browser window excluding the scroll bars. Window.innerHeight gets the height of the browser window excluding the scroll bars. Window.outerWidth gets the width of the browser window including the scroll bars. Window.outerHeight gets the height of the browser window including the scroll bars. Window.screenX gets the horizontal position of the current window. Window.screenY gets the vertical position of the current window. Window.location gets the current URL of the window. Window.history gets the history of the window. Window.open opens a new window with a specified URL. Window.close closes the current window. Window.alert displays an alert box with a specified message. For example, here's how you could use the document.getElementById method to change the text of an element with the ID myID. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.